this first one. Yeah, yeah, with yes. Will. Yeah. This was good? It was really good, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think we, we drank some good wine. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were mining last time, so it was, uh, it was fine. <laughs> Bonjour, ça va 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 Cool. Okay. Is, that, is that this room? Mm, you know, it's it's like uh, when you are in the McDonald, you have you've got the the photo of the burger. Yeah, the and perfect then, burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the, that, the Big Mac, right? Yeah, that, it's yeah. beautiful. And it looks amazing. How big? Yeah. And then it comes out. It's kind of grey, a little bit limp. squishy. <laughs> it looks tasty. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. And it's mm. chilly. <laughs> It's pretty strong. Okay. If it's good for you, then that's so good. Whatever works for you, man. I feel like <coughs> we're being interrogated. <laughs> so, uh, you are in the middle of a big, big, huge world tour. Oui. What do you feel about the touring life? Um, we love being on tour now. I think this has been our favorite ever tour. We've been on tour for almost a year, I think, uh, pretty much, isn't it? Mm. And. Uh, um, but, you know, we've taken quite a lot of breaks, we've spent time with our families, but we've also been to incredible cities all around the world, and we're enjoying it more than we ever have. I think we feel very grateful for our job, and especially grateful for the people that come and watch the concerts. And do you think you deserve it? I don't think that's a question you can answer. I mean, do we deserve to be alive? You know, how, you know, Life itself is a miracle. Do you deserve to be? I don't know. I don't think we deserve it, but we're trying to do the best with that gift. Because in a, in a few months, you will be in Paris for free shows yeah. mm -hmm. uh, at the Stade de France. Yes. yes. What is the biggest venue in Paris mm. uh, for three nights. Uh, so it means that you are Paul McCartney, plus Bruce Springsteen, plus the Rolling Stones. Because when they come in the Stade de France, they do just one. So... Yeah. I don't think we agree with you. It's incredible. <laughs> it's great. It is incredible. But I think... Uh, I don't know. The great thing about music now is I don't feel like you need to compare yourself to anybody else. Especially if you've been doing it for a while. You just We do our thing and we respect everybody else. And uh, We feel lucky for every single person yeah. that comes. But is it easy to keep the dream alive when you got that huge success? Yes. Easier. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, but to stay creative, to, yes, because to, enjoy, to enjoy really yeah, the, the things. Oh, well, we, yes, because somehow if you have a bit of success, it, it allows you to keep dreaming. And I, and I think that's what we try and do. We're always trying to think of ways to make the concert more enjoyable or have a new song that people like, you know. We never feel like we've finished. And what do you dream for for, for, for the future for your band? To play on the moon? <laughs> I think we always dream of the greatest song or the greatest album or the greatest gig. You know, we, we're still looking for that, that thing, you know. I, I think we always want to try and achieve better. When you mention those people, the Stones and Bruce, you know, they're on a different level, you know. They, they, we, we, we are still away, away behind that. Why do you say they are on different level? Because you sell the same amount of records, maybe more than them? Yeah, but... You play for more people? Artistic, but you know, I mean, like, just the quality of the songs. They have, those particular people, just so many great songs. So we, we're still trying to find some great songs. So you feel like kids in front of those guys? Well, not kids, because we're thir both 39 years old. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, well, the Stones are now, what, 70, 70, 73, 74? Yeah. So yeah, we, we always feel like kids. And, you know, with Bruce or with you 2 or any of those people that have been kind to us, they're like, also they're like friendly uncles. 
but, but you know that they've done more good work. I don't know, I think it's good to have your heroes. I've read in an interview that you said that uh, Head Full of Dreams is the last conventional records yes. from Coldplay. What do you mean? Well, I think I mean maybe that. Uh, <laughs> okay. we, don't, we don't really know, you know, um, that was sort of the completion of one circle, of one way of doing things. We'll see in, a, in this environment, uh, maybe there's different ways of releasing music or different portions. Sometimes an album now seems like a, a bit too long for most people. The world moves so fast. So we're just going to explore and see what's possible. I mean, people listen to music in such a different way than they did even three or four years ago, so who knows what could happen in another two or three years. Yeah. For you to be in a recording studio, uh, what does it mean? Is it experimentation or you have the, the, the songs already and you just record it? It depends. Or, or is it a place of both? It depends on the day. Yeah. Some days you just go in, you know what you're going to record and you do it and, and you work at it and, and get the best performance. Other days you just sit there all day playing over the same eight seconds of music and just trying to try different things, different styles, different, trying to get different moments. So stu the studio is a place of creation, yes, just yes, recording. Like the cre yes. studio is a place of endless possibilities. Some days we actively s set aside time just to go free and try anything. I think one thing we learned about 10 years ago is to not be afraid of failure. Mm especially in the studio. So we sometimes have days where we just, we just play, we mess around and we create, and most of it we throw away. We mentioned uh, other singers, Stones, Springsteen, etc. Uh, do you feel to be part of a British tradition of bands, starting maybe with the Beatles? Mm, I don't think a British tradition, I think that I mean, because, I ask you that because a British rock band is not an American rock band, it's... No, it's very different, you're right. Mm. Well, I think that there's some British bands and Irish bands that we look up to because of... But also a band like R.E.M. from... Oh, they're from America. I think we really respect the bands who uh, appreciate each other. They respect the chemistry within the band, so... I don't, know, I don't know if it's a British thing or, or what, but we, we love bands who have stayed together for a long time because it gives us hope. So, who works democracy inside Coldplay? Um, Is it well, easy to, to, to stay together, to keep the band uh, together, to keep the friendship? Yes, yes. it is actually. We, we worked very hard to make it easy. Yeah, I mean it's... Working in the studio can be difficult and testing and because there's inevitably differences in opinion on what someone thinks should happen next, you know, with a song or... So it can be difficult, but we usually work a way around to make everybody happy. I think we appreciate that our band needs all four of us. So when you know that your position is safe, it, it gives a certain freedom to the democracy. Mm. There's nobody going to leave our democracy. There's no referendum. There's no replacements. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we know we have to work together. So that's a good place to start. Uh, that's how it works. Th does it mean that... Uh, I remember Keith Richards saying that about the Stones, that the more important thing is the band, yeah. more than the personal... Uh, yeah, that's true, I think. So for you, Coldplay is more important that, than yourself? Yes. Or than yourself? Well, yes. Yes. In a way, in a way. Yeah. What's the, uh, the alchemy, or if we were in a, in a kitchen, uh, and, we, and we have to, uh, to cook a Coldplay song, Yeah. What, what, what is it exactly? Well, I'd say most often, I would come in with a big chef's hat and say, I have an idea for a song. Do you have any ingredients? And then Johnny and the other two chefs say, yes, we have some ingredients. 
then we put them all into a pot and then we cook it for about two years. <laughs> Constantly stirring. <laughs> we stir it for two years and then we take it out to the restaurant, the world, and some people say, oh, delicious. Other people say, oh, de good ton. <laughs> so a cold play song is Garçon, not, it, it, it's not, uh, it, it's not a cheeseburger, a cold play song. Well, quelque so, fois, sometimes, so, sometimes it comes quickly. We have a new song that will come out in uh, April or something that we recorded in 20 minutes. And it's one of our best songs, so it's different each time. For you, the, the words, the lyrics, uh, uh, is it more meaning or more sounding when you write, like a poetry? You know, yeah. Uh, uh, it used to be, when we first started, it was all about the sound. And now I feel like it's very important to me and to us that the meaning is good also. Sometimes when the song is arriving, it just has some abstract words, and then I try and change them a little bit so that I really agree with the meaning. What, what's the power for you of a song? Do you think that you, with, a, with music or a song you can change the world or change lives? Uh, I think that on an individual level you mm. can make people feel a bit better occasionally and I think that's okay. I think you can express empathy and sometimes a different viewpoint. Sometimes you can present a different way of looking at a problem or something like that. That's what music does for me. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Merci. That was great. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, no, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Oh, you have more? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, uh, it's okay. Ready? I promise. Qu'est-ce que tu veux? To have a beer. Okay, cool. Yeah. Go for it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. 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 Black and white, okay, cool. photo booths. Cool. It's four shots.